I'm Sherry Bosher reporting for IMNG Medical Media at the UCSF annual meeting on antepartum and interpartum management. I'm here with Judith Bishop who talked about the use of nitrous oxide for labor. Um, why is this a big deal this year? Well, actually it's been a big deal for several years, but the biggest deal this year is that we finally have the proper equipment being produced again. So the Nitronox machine that we're leaning on uh, has been out of production for, I think, seven or eight years. Um, I, you can't blame them because there wasn't much use in the United States, but then interest started to grow and uh, it took us a long time to get the equipment back. So this year it's back and so people can actually purchase it and actually put a program into place that offers nitrous oxide in labor. Now UCSF has been using nitrous oxide for decades because you had your own machines. What have you learned from that? I mean, why is it a good thing for women in labor? Well, I think that there aren't, uh, there's no perfect method for pain relief for women in labor. Um, we have very few options and there, there is something about nitrous oxide that fills some gaps that the other methods don't offer. So an example of that might be that um, because it doesn't build up in the mother or the fetus, it can be used in second stage right before the baby's delivered. Someone arrives at the hospital ready to go. Um, there's still a little something she can get, even though there's no time for an epidural or too late for opioids. So it really just fills a, a, a gap in um, some of the other items that we have to offer. Offers another choice. For some women, it's, it's just enough. Um, for, for many other women, it's something that might delay the need for um, an epidural, which will keep a woman in bed and, and is a much bigger production, requires a lot more equipment. Um, I, I think that it's not either or, it's really, um, the situation and what is best suited to the situation at the time and it just gives us that one more um, piece. It's uh, short acting, fast acting, um, it's not very heavy duty. If you like it, it's great. If you don't like it, you move on. And it's safe. And it's quite safe. It's quite a, a, a safe and simple and direct um, approach. Uh, it won't be perfect for everybody but um, but it gives a, a, another option. Do you think this will spread more across the U.S. now that this machine is finally available again? I think there has been a lot of interest and so, but I think that one of the barriers has been the lack of equipment. So yes, I do think, uh, I'm not sure it will ever take over the way uh, and be as common as it is in England and a number of other countries. But I think there's a lot of interest. I think women are curious about it. And I think they're wanting um, some variety in their choices. And I, I do think that we'll see a lot more of it. Reporting for IMNG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Beauchert.